Good evening. Wheelers at large. Where are again? <laughs> Julie's getting heckled. She's doing her intro. That's Mottis Font. Have you been to Mottis Font yet, Mr. Wheeler? Um, Mottis Font House. No, never been into the house, no. We came back this way yeah. when we went out once. There's a walled garden, yeah? There is. Lovely rose. Rose garden. Smell of roses. Yes. What a change, Oh, yeah. A bit of sunshine. Oh, definitely. Could be wet, we've had a few days of rain. Or it could just be nice and soft. We'll see. Yeah, I feel like one of those sharks picking up krill. <laughs> yeah, enough of water. <laughs> Bit of protein. And there you go, first view of the day. Yeah. Oh, there's loads of it, isn't there? The last few weeks we had so many bluebells as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely. Down into the woods. Oopsie. No, nobody behind me. <laughs> oh, big rolly boulders. <laughs> so look out for those. I think we just go straight on, but I know there's a good photo op here. Broken out the trees, and this is what we get. Fantastic uh, descent down through the woods, and then this. Amazing. Concentrate, Julie. There we go. Staying up the right way for the moment. Oh, it just got steeper. One track or the other, Julie, not both. There we go. Yeah, I might usually ride through this. <laughs> not today. I rode the uh, single speed for the first time in a long time this morning. A little uh, errand to run across town. And uh, I've got on this this evening. It feels very spongy <laughs> by comparison. Spongy. Ew. <laughs> I just got splatted. Quite a lot of up so far. Woohoo! Aha! Oh. Yeah, I'm going to get a bit of a run at it, sorry. <laughs> That's a problem, when you stop. Oh, I know, I'm, I'm all psyched out now because I've seen him go over. 
Yeah, it's because it, yeah, there's a bit afterwards. I think he tried to go up the side and slid in. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. That wasn't anywhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh. Look at that. It won't let me out of the baby ring. Wheelers at large, mechanic required. Oh dear, what happened? I can't get out of my little ring. Got to give the person in front a bit of space because the um, yeah. the mud's flicking off. That's it, <laughs> clear our tires off. Oh dear. This is what you call getting your own back. Yeah, flicks off the front tire straight up in your face. So you oh, well. some gear, are you? Or? No, I think it'd be all right. I went down into the granny gear. And I couldn't get back up. He's put it back in, but it's a bit tight, so he thinks it's a frayed cable. So it seems all right at the moment, so. He did say I can use it, so we'll see. <laughs> what a funny. Yep, got away with it. Only got the hybrid tyres on, so not too much grip. But hopefully, we'll stay upright one way or the other. The last time we did this, but this was all overgrown. It's been cleared now, and uh, easily rideable. I've got a new pair of glasses on. I haven't lost them yet, but there's still time. Still fairly overgrown here. <laughs> that that noise must get boring after a while, mustn't it? GoPro, stop recording. Got to be a little bit careful down here because I know it ends up at a road, but I don't remember well enough when the road appears. <laughs> oh, bumpy, bumpy. Come on, bike, hold together. I've got some runoff. The end of the road is just around the corner. Nobody behind me. Right. The end of the road is that cottage ahead, I'm sure it is. Yes, it is. Oh, this is very fast. Woo! <laughs> a bit of air there. Unintentionally. <laughs> Funny at the end. I think so. I think that'll be me. Don't know if I got that or not. Look at that. Amazing. The river test. Hello. Oh, you're here. Well done. Yeah. I didn't know where you were when we turned off. I suddenly realised you may not have seen us go down the path. Yes, we've done this in the dark, we have, you're right. 
Yeah, there's plenty of room. Tree. Tree! He said she's in the baby gear. She's actually got three left. Oh, not three left? Yeah. Yeah, but baby at the front. Ah, okay. Yeah, a bit slimy in places tonight. And it looks like uh, Julie's GoPro's given up. Not sure why. When we get a chance, we'll see if we can resurrect it. How lovely all through here. Look at this. It's just started getting very steep. So rather than you hear me puffing, speak to you again in a bit. Bit of stick interference. <laughs> oh well. It's not gonna let me continue, that's for sure. It's amazing what we put these bikes through and they just keep going. <laughs> you know, come on, keep pedaling. That's it. Yeah, sticks in derailers, and goodness knows what, and they just keep going. That's the famous gravel riders pose for Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a little bit different to the New Forest. I think this is called Farley Mount, I think they said, but I'm not sure. Farley Mount, Mike? Is that what it's called? Oh, he's not following me. <laughs> I just talked to myself. I do that a lot. It got bumpier. <sighs> yeah, these Pathfinder tyres are great on most surfaces. Not so good when it's a bit slippy. Yeah, no novels, not really any side novels either. And uh, they got the nice smooth centre, which is fast on most surfaces, but doesn't offer any grip whatsoever. It gets muddy. But I think for the kind of stuff we do, they're a good all-rounder. Yeah, yeah, I'm already, I'm already there. I'm already there. Yeah. Underneath lied buried a horse, the property of Paulette St. John. Yeah, it's definitely done some possible. work tonight. Yeah. <laughs> you won't be able to see it, but that's the Isle of Wight just there. Yes. There's another two to come, thank you. Right. Rooty! Right. Yep. Roots, roots, roots. Apparently Percy, as he's now been named, is trying to liberate himself from Julie's handlebars. Yeah, Percy's making a break for freedom. Oh, we're uh, about to turn off here. Yeah, so I need to just pop my teddy back into his little home and hopefully he'll stay there. It's a really good mix actually this ride. All around the Test Valley here you can mix and match a bit of road like this, a bit of gravel road, a bit of mud, <laughs> a bit of farm track. Yeah, it's good fun. You know what I was saying earlier about uh, if it's not on, um, on Strava it doesn't count. <laughs> My Wahoo just switched off. <laughs> the trouble is there's not enough plug sockets to charge everything at once. Oh dear. Interesting. We think we've lost one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, was it? Yeah. On the gravel up there. I, I reckon he's come round the back of you or something into the group at the front there, and we've just missed him somehow. <laughs> no, that's all right. Thank you. 
That's all right, just means we've done a few extra feet of climbing and a bit, a few more miles, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we weren't sure where Judy was, so Phil was just saying we might be getting picked off one by one. <laughs> oh, okay. I take it we just keep going down. I have no idea. <laughs> we were going down a hill there. Suddenly there's a bat in front of me. It hit me on the leg. <laughs> or I hit it. I think it flew off, so I didn't do any damage to it. But uh, yeah, I've had a close encounter with a bat. Three get lost in Test Valley. <laughs> Um, we're doing that adventuring thing. <laughs> yeah, adventuring. Yeah, we're adventuring in the countryside, in the dark, with the bats. Wahoo says route to start is possible. The Garmin on Phil's says route impossible. As we're going downhill here, it's getting colder and colder. Ooh, getting nippy. So the chat we went back for, I is he with them? I think he's with them, yeah. Ah, that's all right then. Well, I asked Mike and said, are we the only ones missing? He said, yes. Well, we're no longer lost. <laughs> if you've watched this far into the video, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>